So I'm Kim Ballard. Um, I was asked to talk today because I have a son. Uh, the thing is, is uh, I only knew I had a son for the past two years. Twelve years prior to that, I kept calling my daughter. That's what they told me at the hospital. Um, yeah. So for twelve years, he played that role uh, until he no longer could. Uh, right up until uh, the letter I found in his room telling me that he had tried to commit suicide. Uh, when I was faced with that reality, you start going back, um, you start playing back the history of uh, <coughs> the signs, the hints, and you really come to the realization none of that mattered uh, because now you have the info of what you need to do. Uh, you have a sign, so, so raise them. Uh, was I going to be his bully? Was he going to try to put him back in a box that fit uh, the rules of my world at the time? Or wait it out to see if it would just pass and go back to the way it used to be? Uh, would I push parental instinct um, on holding on to the, to the idea of a daughter? Or uh, only to lose that child, only end up losing that child altogether? I say it often. I've said it before. Anyone that's heard me talk, um, I didn't have this kid to fulfill my dreams. I had this kid to help him realize his. Uh, so I did what a dad. I did. I did what a dad does. I loved him. I still love him. Uh, we won't. I won't say it's been easy. Um, you know, we've had our struggles. Uh, but I think if you ask the kid, uh, he knows his mother and I are in his corner always. And as a result, I have a, I have a relationship with my son, and I'm not warning at a headstone. Uh, I'll be honest, um, you know, uh, it's not my wheelhouse to talk to people. Uh, it's not my desire to be standing here talking um, or talk about my son. But, because I'd like to believe we're at a point that in civilized society, none of this no longer matters. The color of skin, how a person identifies, what's on their birth certificate. Um, but these are not those times. These are times when they want to build walls between, between our state and a culture that's the very fabric of what makes Texas great. These are, time, these are times when we're trying to tell women what to do with their bodies again. I thought we finished this argument. These are times when they want to take the progress made, the progress made uh, on, on benefits to spouses. And these are times when they want to tell my kid what bathroom he can go to. And I'd have to finish with, in the uh, immortal words of the Foo Fighters, it's times like this that you give and give again. And it's times like this that you love and love again. Thank y'all. <laughs>